Hey, Jesse Trevino here, Head of Instruction at Trevino Golf Studio in downtown Gainesville, Texas. Wanted to talk to you today about what's in the bag and how my product performed for me this year. Let's start off with the woods. My driver I chose is an 8.5 9064 LS Speedline driver. I had the RIP Aldila 60 gram 2.7 torque shaft at 45 inches in length. Swing weight's about D2 and a half. My accuracy improved this year in fairways hit. Very pleased. I still get it out there 285, 295, uh, depending on what course. Good roll. Uh, turned out to be just a really good surprise for me. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm excited about 2012 to see what's coming out, uh, but it's going to be tough to replace this unless something just really jumps out there after me. But again, the uh, 9064 LS 8.5 Adams Golf. As a Adams Golf advisory staff member, we're always looked at to see what the product does prior to it coming out. And uh, when the Speedline F11 Three Woods came out, with the Velocity <clears throat> slot technology, it was really exciting. I got to hear the testimonies from Ryan Moore and Tom Watson, and after hearing their testimonies, I couldn't wait to get out and, and hit the three wood. Uh, once I got my three wood, tested it, really saw the difference between what I had previously, especially in wind. Uh, it's great short par fours, uh, second shots on par fives, really turned out to be a, a, a very good tool, good weapon. Um, old man shaft, I'm using Devotion 7, 05 Flex, 75 grams. Um, using a relatively new grip called Pure Grips. If you hadn't tried them, you should uh, go to www.puregrips.com and uh, look them up. They're 100% rubber, made in America. Uh, the newest, hottest item out there. Check them out. Really, really good. Again, F11. Speed line. And again, what we're doing is looking at my product and evaluating how we did this year. So what's in the bag for me uh, is going to determine what's going to be in the bag in 2012. My hybrid is an 18 degree Idea Pro Black, the 9031. There's a good look at it. Black, very sleek, more of a smaller head. It's not the traditional teardrop. Um, it also has an optional weight piece that you can increase the weight, decrease the weight to uh, optimize your playability. Uh, I chose an 18 degree. This is about 235, 245 for me. Um, with the uh, Oban Devotion 8, 05 Flex, 85 grams. We like our MOI to stay real close within 10 CPM cycles uh, from the hybrids to the driver. Uh, again, I want that same feel. Again, that beautiful pure grip. Uh, but if you haven't had an opportunity to go out and demo these, uh, excellent. Also, a great tool around the greens to chip with, kind of use that putting stroke, high grass, short grass, tight lies. Uh, it, it minimizes the stroke. You don't have to take that big heavy stroke, just a real soft stroke. Ball gets on the green, starts rolling, looks like a putt. You're standing up a little taller, get a better view. Excellent tool. Very, very good. Let's go to my irons. This year I went with the uh, Forged MB Black, Idea Black Pro. Just a beautiful, sleek finish, great lines. I'm a traditional Hogan Wilson guy when I grow up. That top line has to be real thin, real pretty for me. Uh, cosmetically, this definitely hit all the spots that uh, I, was, I was looking at and what I wanted in a, in a club. Again, I went through four through pitch and wedge utilizing the hybrid and uh, again, weight distribution on the back so you can go in and out to accommodate your swing speed, weights that you want, making it very comfortable across the board. Wedges, I went with a three wedge system this year. Started out with a 52, which we consider a gap wedge. These are the pug wedges. Uh, I'm not even going to uh, attempt to uh, just uh, tear up that name of uh, the Italian designer. He's awesome. I've met him a couple of times. We just call them pug wedges. 
Uh, but I came in with a 52, 56, and a 60. My 60 and my 52 both have eight degree bounce. Um, we like tight lies in North Texas area. Uh, also in the southern portions of Oklahoma, you know, we don't have that beautiful lush fescue and, and some of the better grasses that you see up north, so we don't need a lot of bounce. We like those tight lies. Shoot that ball in there, let it bounce twice, skip back. My 56 is my 90 yard wedge to where um, I'm utilizing it from the distances of say 60 to 90 yards. But I'm also using this with uh, 11 degrees of bounce and this is my sand wedge that I use in the sand traps. So to get that ball up and high, a little more bounce, uh, let it kick up there nice and tight. And uh, again, just a great looking black trim line wedge system. Very pleased, performed extremely well. Made my putting a lot better by being able to get the shots up a little closer with these wedges. And finally, my putter selection this year. Now Adams Golf has also purchased Yes Putters, so we're going to be seeing some new product this year. Really excited about that at the PGA Show in January we're going to attend. We're going to go see what they've got to offer this year. So we really didn't jump into a lot of the Adams Putters because we were kind of waiting to see what uh, the Yes product was going to look like. Uh, for two years now, I've been using a machine design putter. This putter is from Dogleg Wright. And uh, the guys uh, at Dogleg Wright, Dwight Neville is uh, uh, one of the pros there that uh, helped me, and, and Benny Passens, he's the other pro that helped me um, figure out what was wrong with my putting. And then they built me a putter while I was there to use. And in that, we finalized the putter that I needed and found out what it was that I was doing wrong. And the uh, system that they use is really awesome. Uh, if you get a chance, again, www.doglegright.com, machine putters. Uh, but we found out that my heel, as I stroked, was slightly ahead of the toe. So we put 40 grams of weight on the heel, allowed the toe to release a lot easier, a lot better, started hitting a lot more straighter putts, you know, catching uh, the inside of the hole a lot better versus that ball falling away from the right side. Um, that's what you got to have on putting. You got to have that toe releasing through the putt. If you saw the uh, President's Cup this past week, uh, Tiger put on a very nice uh, showing in his putting. And if you listen to a couple of the interviews, uh, he had help from Stricker, Steve Stricker, and Steve was telling him that he needed to release that toe to get that putter really going down the line and the ball just uh, rolling better. And uh, he really showed some uh, great uh, putting at, at the President's Cup. Congratulations to them. Again, Adam Staff Advisory uh, member, player, thoroughly. Uh, had a great time with my clubs this year. I'm really excited about 2012 and what uh, Adams is going to bring to us and show us. And once I get my product, uh, you'll hear from me again. Jesse Trevino, Head of Instruction at Trevino Golf Studio. Get a chance, go www.trevinogolfstudio.com. Check us out. Anything we can do for you, any questions, shoot us an email. Look forward to seeing you um, and, and have a great holidays. Thanks again.